What's up guys, welcome back to Race Back and today the video is gonna be about why aren't all Shelby trucks supercharged? Now, I'm gonna get right into the meat of this for the first three to five minutes. It's all actually exceptional information if you're at all interested in these trucks. Uh, so this video is no BS, straight information that you need to know if you're in the market for a Shelby truck, which by the way, they've already made and sold about 150, 170 of these trucks. So they're only producing max 100 more. And once they're gone, they're gone. So if you want one, hurry up, get into one, because they're not gonna last. Uh, and then as you know, 2021's a new body style. But anyways, let's get to it. There's two versions of this truck if you go on Shelby's website. Version number one is the uh, 395 horsepower, non-supercharged version for $86,000, which is what this truck is, and is also the only option I have because I'm a California resident. Now there's option two, which is the 770 horsepower supercharged version that everybody knows about because that's the truck that basically all the press got a hold of. That's the truck that went to SEMA before it actually became available for sale. If you say Shelby Super Snake single cab, everybody in the room is gonna be like, oh, that's the 770 horsepower one, right? Well, I mean, yeah, in a perfect world, that's what they all would be, right? Unfortunately, there's this thing called emissions laws and California is probably the best example is not the only state by the way but California is probably the best example of very strict emissions laws so you can't even buy the $93,000 supercharged version if you're a California resident so I have called dealerships that are out of state before I bought this just out of curiosity and I had this problem too when I was looking at a supercharged Roush Nightmare truck, which wasn't that much of a problem because that one's all California good, right? You can buy a supercharged one of those here in Buena Park, but I can't go to But as far as the Shelby truck goes, even if I were to buy the $93,000 supercharged truck out of state, they will not ship it to me, nor would they sell it to me because I'm a California resident and the truck would have to be registered in California, which is a big no-no because of the supercharger. So, if you're a California resident, that leaves you with one option if you want the, the supercharged package, right? So, assuming you pay MSRP for this truck, which I paid, I got a better price than MSRP, but because of the time, it was like right when COVID started, everything was shut down. I got in right at the right time. Other, otherwise, expect to pay a market for this truck. Uh, if it's a good day, you're going to pay MSRP. But, $86,000 for the truck, right? If I wanted the supercharged package, which by the way, if you go to the Shelby website, you will see in parentheses on the supercharged version, it says post sales only. Uh, even though it says post sales only, you will see them pre-supercharged at other dealerships around the country for $93,000, right? So you would think to yourself, well, why it's a seven thousand dollar difference right why wouldn't you buy it well i actually got some new information today actually from the opening of that video you would have seen that gray supercharged truck in california next to my truck and that truck is not going to california it's getting shipped out of state so this is where it gets really interesting right so if i personally or my friend heidel actually with the white one uh he's uh as I think it's SD Motorsports or he, he owns a, a shop that modifies lightnings. He bought a white Super Snake Sport truck, got it sent back to Shelby, put the supercharger on, right? He lives in California. What does it cost if you buy this $86,000 truck and you want to send it back to Shelby to get the supercharged package? Well, I have an answer for you. Um, yeah, I think I need to go on the other freeway. No, I don't. Hazard ahead. It will cost you $14,000 to upgrade your NA truck to the supercharged truck. But then you're going to ask yourself, well, Ray, how, why is it $14,000 when it's only a $7,000 difference in MSRP? You're getting ripped off. Actually, no, you're not. Because that $14,000 price includes your truck getting flatbedded back to Las Vegas to get the supercharged <coughs> <coughs> oh, give me a second. 
Oh, I need to drink something. Uh, that includes your truck getting flatbedded back to Las Vegas and flatbedded back to Las Vegas, <clears throat> which the cost of that, but the dealership isn't making any money off you on this. If they are, it's like $1,000 max, which I don't even think they're even making that. They're probably not making anything. <clears throat> the cost to ship the truck is $1,000 there, $1,000 back, their cost. Now, that brings you back down to 12,000, right? Well, the Shelby Stage 2 Supercharger Kit that they put on this truck is about $8,200. Plus California tax, you're talking about $9,000, right? That leaves you with $3,000. Now you're gonna ask yourself, where does that $3,000 go? Installation. Because Shelby, those $14,000 includes the cost of the Supercharger Kit, the installation as Shelby, the labor as Shelby American, shipping to and from Las Vegas. That's your $14,000 cost. So it's all encompassing and includes everything, right? Includes your sales tax, includes all that. Now, if you were to, uh, by the way, sales tax in California, if you pay the MSRP of $86,000 for the truck, your tax rate's probably around 8%. So you're talking about $7,000 additional, talking $93,000 out the door, plus $14,000, you're talking $107,000. But you get a three year, 36 month, bumper to bumper warranty not sure about the bumper to bumper but pretty sure um, and that covers everything you can beat the crap out of that truck uh, and you will not have any issues um, which by the way 770 with the Whipple tune makes like like uh, 620 wheels 600 ish to the wheels um, but if you want to get the extended warranty uh, like you want like a five-year seven-year warranty you're gonna be paying about $150,000 once it's all said and done, this is a six-figure truck. Any way you cut it, you're if you're not paying a hundred thousand dollars, you're within five to seven grand of paying a hundred thousand dollars, even without the supercharger. So now, if you're at a state, actually that silver truck that was next to my truck, that truck sold. He bought it in California without the supercharger. Then he had to send to Shelby American to get the supercharger installed. Uh, and I'm assuming he paid MSRP more than likely uh, to get that truck off the lot, which, dude, when I inquired about this truck, it was, let's see, I bought it on Saturday the 30th, 29th, 28th. I think I first asked about the truck on the 26th. They had three trucks in stock. They had two, sil two silver ones, one of which was that one that was next to my truck. And this black one uh, this was on the May the 26th May the 30th I bought this truck this is the last truck in stock on May 29th my friend Oscar bought the other silver one which is VIN number 60 it's a 60 number 60 my number 58 the other sil silver one that was next to mine was number 57 that guy bought his probably the 28th or the 29th so within three days in the middle of a pandemic. And this is when everything was shut down, when nobody knew what was gonna happen. People were not allowed to go work in their offices. Like in the middle of a basically almost a financial crisis, these three trucks went like that. If there wasn't a pandemic, honestly, it probably would have been easily 10 grand markup. Because I asked, I asked uh, you know, my people, I'm like, at, uh, I asked him, by the way, thanks for the hat, I appreciate it. I asked him, I'm like, well, dude, like, this guy could have just bought this truck out of state with a supercharger, like, why did he buy it from you guys? Like, wouldn't it be just easier to buy it out of state and get it shipped back into, just get it shipped directly to him? You know, like, wouldn't that make more sense? It would be cheaper, right? It's $93,000. Well, no, it's not, because they want, apparently, I don't know, I'm not gonna point any fingers, but some of these dealerships, want an insane premium for these trucks because they are so limited. Um, and you're gonna end up paying around 120 to $130,000 for the already supercharged truck. And this is because they know one, there's a lot of demand for them too. There's only so many that are made, which is that 250 is nothing. Like a dealership will easily sell that in a month, like easily. Um, in regular cars, and I'm gonna have to get out the freeway. 
so they take advantage of that, you know? And like, they're like, all right, well, yeah, you can buy it somewhere else, but then you gotta wait two months to get it supercharged from Shelby, which is what it took. I was just at the dealership. It's literally been, well, in a week, it'll be two months since this guy bought his truck. So this guy paid for this truck two months ago. He still hasn't even seen it. So this truck will likely get shipped out to him. Probably Saturday, it'll take a few days to get to him. So about nine weeks from the purchase of his truck for him to get this truck on his driveway with his supercharger. But whoever you are that has VIN number 57, that silver truck, congratulations. It's a beautiful truck. I was checking it out. Man, that blue supercharger is amazing. And I would 100% have done that if I didn't already have a supercharger in my garage. But honestly, for what I want this truck for, like if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would honestly would probably sold the VMP Odin, bought the factory supercharger, kept it collectible, all factory, nice, badass, right? But I do have a YouTube channel and I am gonna race this truck, so I will need the power, and unfortunately I need more than 600 real horsepower. So I'm super glad we got the VMP Odin. Uh, <laughs> amazing blower should be getting on with the next couple weeks actually it probably will be getting installed as I release this video because right now as I'm filming this video I'm on my way to get the headers installed in this truck and uh, then we got a few other videos after that before this truck gets supercharged we're waiting on our fuel pumps to ship out from Utah because uh, it should get to Parker's house and he's gonna ship it to me again California emissions bullshit but yeah I mean that's a I'm, I'm gonna card this video at the beginning of every single video I have until this truck is supercharged because it, it, people just don't get it, you know? Like, there's, uh, and I don't blame them because there's really no information about these trucks. And I would have known none of this if I didn't buy this truck and I didn't talk to other owners and dealerships um, about it, right? So, I'm gonna get off on citrus. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's your snippet. That's your education for the day uh, regarding the Super Snake truck everything you need to know uh you know this isn't like a beautifully edited video it isn't like easy on your face sorry you know maybe i should have given the script to a hot girl have her say it right but uh but it's everything you need to know it's pure knowledge so if there's anything you guys need to know uh, about any of my bills let me know i'm more than happy to cut all the bullshit and give you guys the information you need to know to make an educated decision on whether you're modifying your truck car buying something I'm an open book man I got nothing to hide I'm just here to provide value to you guys because to be honest I'm only gonna make on this video I'm gonna make anywhere between two dollars to 20 bucks if I'm if it goes viral I'll make like 200 500 bucks if it goes viral which it will not give uh, at least not right away given how my other videos have done right so I'm not in this for the money I'm in it because I legit enjoy what I'm doing I, I love it when you guys comment. I love it when you guys ask me for videos. I'm here for you, nothing else. You know, this isn't some big channel that's bringing in thousands of dollars a month. I do more than well enough in my career to get that taken care of. So, not in, not in it for the money, guys. Anything I get from this channel is basically just reimbursing me for the insane amounts of money I've spent on all my builds, which by the way, quick breakdown, RCF is probably around 80, 90 grand. That car's paid off now. Um, the uh, RST, we're talking about forty thousand dollars, also paid off. This truck I financed because zero percent. Why wouldn't I? Going to be about one hundred and twenty deep on this truck after everything is done on YouTube. I think cumulatively I've made like fifteen thousand dollars over the past three years. You do the math. Totally not making a profit off this, which is fine. YouTube money reimbursing me and or getting used towards mods or new cars if I ever hit break even or a profit. But that's it guys, you know, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the headers video, which I'm gonna film right now. Um, hopefully that other extra battery lasts quite a bit. If not, I'll use my iPhone. I'm very excited for this build. I'm very excited for you guys to be a part of it. If you stuck all the way around to this video, uh, I really appreciate you guys, it means a lot. And I'll see you guys next time, peace. Woo